Hello Poker News. I'm here with Ronnie Barda, who not only cashed in the main event five years in a row, also one of the poker stars on Survivor, however, didn't last very long. No. <laughs> so that being said, you walked into Survivor, maybe it lasted all of two hours. How do you feel to be surviving in the main event for as long as you have? Uh, the main event's a special event for me. You know, um, had my five years in a row in 2010 to 14. I uh, had some deep runs, 24th and a 124th, but our goal is to always make the final table. And uh, I've had a couple bubbles in between 2015 and now, and now I just got really deep in the money. And right before this interview with you, I got it all in with Kings versus Sixes. And I've been talking to the kid all day. He opened the cutoff, I jammed Kings. And I was just in a spot to pick up almost 400,000 in chips again at 10K. And that's a lot of chips for me. I can just grind that all the way down to 100 and something players again. I just came 357, queen in the turn. And I was, felt really good about it in Four River. And I smashed the table and I apologized to everybody about it. But they felt my pain and they all, they all said, don't even apologize. Like, we felt it too. And it just hurt. It's like, you know, we know just, you for cashing. Yeah, that just happened right now. And I just, like, this, I just, you got to win flips. I, I got my money in all in once and was fortunate to win in the money with Jack's first ace queen about 200 people ago. Uh, held, and this was the second time I got all in the whole damn tournament. And I'm in with kings versus sixes. Is what I do good is get the money in good. I avoid the unavoidable. People just don't know how to do that, and I do it fucking countless over and over and over and over again. I just fold hands that I'm actually not supposed to, but if I didn't fold, I would have busted. Just sick intuition, just picking up, you know, good spots, and it just all that's a whole formula to going deep in this event and just did it again right now like you know last year I bubbled well the last time it ran in 19 and here I am but it's unfortunate I really wish I was still in doing this interview like I really do I mean I'm sad but <laughs> but happy to be alive and very fortunate to be able to play this tournament while many are suffering out there so it's just the best tournament in the world obviously and uh, shit I'll play for the rest of my life you know um, I'm probably gonna be playing less poker as I get older but I'll never miss this event so <laughs> You, you want to play less poker as you get older. Yeah, I've been playing for almost 20 years now, you know, and it, it's hard to balance a healthy lifestyle around poker. So, you know, as much as you want to be at the tables, you got to exercise and eat well and try to get a good structure and sleep well and playing at wee hours and different hours and all over the place, it's, it's tough on the body. It's not what the human body is really, you know, actually made for. Like, we're not, it's not used to it. You can't. You know, playing nights, it's, it's tough. I know. You saw Doyle Brunson running strong out here, over 80 he's, years he's old. A, he's a freak of nature, that guy. You know, just like Phil Ivey. There's a few special ones who can do it and doesn't bother him as much, but I can right. feel it. I'm almost 40. I'll be 40 in a few months, so I used to be a young guy in this game, and now I'm one of the old guys, you know, so... You still have a few more years left. Yeah, I still have a few more years, that's true. Well, so being in poker for as long as you have, even cashing in the main event five years in a row, what do you think was your initial claim to fame? Because I don't think it was much of Survivor, no offense. Yeah, probably. Uh, I mean, just being a guy who's been around and trying to be a good energy around some other, all the players and be a good person to talk to, uh, just really friendly usually. I, I blow up sometimes and I lose it on people. You know, I'm from South Boston, so we just have that ingrained in our system. But I think it's from you know winning a bracelet, cashing five years in a row, getting bluffed out of a hand by Miss Finland, and just you know playing tons of cash and traveling all over the um, all over the country and just being a guy who's you know got good energy and people like to talk and talk to me and I you know I like talking too. I'm a really kind of charismatic figure. Absolutely. You know I try to keep try to stay young and. I just, have a, I just have a lot of fun. Absolutely. So. And you actually mentioned it yourself. The famous bluff that you lost to Miss Finland. Do you think that that may have helped your poker career versus if you actually called it? I mean, At least brought a little spotlight to you. Yeah, I mean, you, a lot of the Euros, because it happened in Europe, and I mean, everybody who plays poker has watched the hand. <laughs> People who don't like really play at all or play in like house games, watch the hand. It's the most viewed poker hand all the time. And you know, I, a lot of other great players said they would have folded. And uh, you know, I, it was a fun hand, and I'm, it, it was a tough, she put me in a tough spot. I don't know if that was my huge claim to fame, but it definitely is what I'm known for, which is kind of, I, when people see me, I, I love when they say, oh, you cashed a made event five years in a row, instead of that model bluffed the shit out of you. And, it's funny because that's so. actually how I know you, it's oh, the fine. model, yeah. the model bluffed you. It was a fun hand, and I handled it well, and I think my reaction to the you bluff, did. you know, if I didn't react the way I did and say the things I said, it was just the stars aligned that hand and, and it made everybody laugh. It was a lot of fun. So, Absolutely. To follow along with Ronnie and everybody else in the main event, make sure you follow along on PokerNews.com, powered by Club GG. Until next year.